I understand it, but you keep trying to hold that over my head and you're talking to me crazy and my woman crazy. And that's why I, I, I've allowed it to this point. But now I don't give up. But you just still I don't insist care on anymore. calling her your woman, your wife. That's my woman. That's, that's the mother of is. my child. What do you mean? Child. We just went. What do you mean by that? Child, that's right. You Man. did lose one of the babies. My God is so good. This is. Oh, hold on. Oh, you're so heartless. Oh, you're God. sick. Thank God. You're sick. No. Why would you say that? I mean, you know she's still mourning. It's, she's not mourning. No, mom, shut the hell up. Because at this point now, you're getting out of control. Yeah. You're disrespecting my lost child, your lost grandchild, and she's that dealing with it right now. Not, oh my no, look, no, mom, look. Right now, we're at the point now where I need you to do something for me. Okay. Right now, you got to do something for me. What is that, Tyler? Apologize to us. To who? What you just did was... Pass a line. To who? To, to both of us. To both of us. You shut up. Stop, me, mom. You want me to shut up? Come Please. shut me up. Come, I apologize. bet you won't come shut me up. Audrey, no, what are you I, doing? No, I've had enough of her. No. I'll put her in between the washer and the dryer. Come come play with me, Miss Deborah. Stop. Well, all I'll say is you get what you deserve. When you disrespect your mother in front of your so-called girlfriend, then she will also disrespect her right in front of you. The mother was saying something cogent. Like that child wasn't her grandchild. What she would have done is to listen. Let her give her evidence why she said that. Not to support your so-called girlfriend who may be cheating. Because women see their bullshit far more than men do. I don't know what's wrong with young men of nowadays. They are just too much of a simp. Honestly. Hey, how are you? Hey, hey. Um, uh, wait, wait, don't get in the car yet. Don't get what in the happened? car yet. Um, before we go eat, um, and you already brought your kid, and you didn't tell me you're okay. bringing your kid once well, again. You didn't offer to pay for a babysitter, okay? So, and um, I'm really, really hungry. I feel like you're only here because you want to eat. You're not here for I me. What? Yeah, what? he's really hungry. Like, I don't, I don't. This is taking long. I thought there was That's something on the seat. No, um. What's going on? Are you okay, sweetie? I'm not okay because I don't think you sh you should be feeling like I have to take you to eat right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you um, mean? I didn't know you were bringing your kid. You were supposed to come alone. This is supposed to be a date. What are you talking about? This bro? is supposed to be a, a date. This I said, was supposed hey, to be let's a date. Eat, and you said yeah. okay. You offered me to eat, so I'm thinking it's gonna be me and you. But instead, it's me, you, and him. You didn't offer to pay for a babysitter, so you didn't tell me you needed a babysitter. That's, I mean, that's your responsibility. You know all that. Like, Bro, I'm not supposed to just know that Is you're your a kid. Is now? Because I'm really, really yes. hungry and he's hungry. So what's going on? Look, that sounds like a you problem because... Um, a me problem? What yeah, because no about? one you told you... You don't want to be my bestie anymore? Bro, I'm so I mean, confused. Bro. Friend right now. Bro, listen. You said we were going to eat. Exactly. And I'm and thinking we're... we're eating right now, so I'm confused. I'm thinking we're going on a date. Me and you... And Why you would bring... you think we're going on a date? What makes you think we're going to go on a date? Because you said you want to go eat. That's what people that do go eat together is a I mean, date. I don't know where you're getting this like assumption from. Like Every time you take me shopping or you pay for my food or you pay my bills, you just think that there's something like going on between us. I'm so confused right now. So does that sound normal to you? I'm taking you shopping. I'm paying your food. I'll pick you up whenever you want me to pick you up. Okay. But you say there's nothing going on between us. That sounds like so unrealistic. What are you talking about? You know, it, it doesn't matter what I want. We don't I, have to go on a date. I'm confused. We don't have to go on a date. And you know what? So it's, hold I don't on. have to I'm feed confused you. Because you thought you were going to get something out of me? I didn't, I didn't say I that. I feel but used you, now. I cannot believe this. How do you feel? You, you've you been using me. You, oh my you God. The only reason you, you came out listen, with me is because you ma thought you were going to get something out of me. Ma'am, listen, listen, listen. I feel so so used right now this listen now this is the problem with modern women right there you see the way she switched the whole thing back to him now she is the victim she is the one being used that's why the fact that she is the one that is getting all the money from him being taken to go and do shopping and now she is supposed to be the victim <laughs> that is why it is so bad for men to be saying they are being just friends with women you lose all the time there's really no point being just friend with them, honestly.
even if you try harder. Oh, please. Oh, hell no. I'm coming for everybody in your family, basically. I'm going to let you think if that you if you want to think that. if you had kids, guess what? I'm going to come for your kids, too. Oh, yeah, you really tripping. I don't no, know what I'm the hell wrong with you. Whatever. You heard what I said. You done gone crazy. You done you bumped your head. I said. I said what I said. And All you right. can stop recording me. Whatever. Whatever. You can stop recording whatever. me. Whatever. I'm coming for your mama and your sister and your cousin and everybody else. You can stop recording me. I don't care. You know how crazy you sound care. right now? I'm about to go home. 39. How many children do you have? Three. And three baby daddies and they all gang bang. Hmm. So what do you want as an outcome? I want somebody that's loyal. It's really hard to find loyalty nowadays. You really can't find it at the next corner or none of that. Like these men Loyal, now. Lo hold on, hold on. Loyal to what end? Like a husband? What are you talking about? I want a husband. I want to get married, have kids. Why, why, I want to live in a hold house. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're 39 with three children, right? Yes. Okay. You already have kids. Yes. Well, how old is your youngest? Three years old. Well, you want more children? Of course I do. I really want six. Is something wrong with that? What do you do for a living? Um, I get EDD. Mm -hmm. Is that, I mean... I don't know what that is. Unemployment. So you're an unemployed mother of three with three baby daddies, and you're talking about you can't find a man? Yes. Mm. It's some, I'm pretty sure God, I want somebody that's going to help me. Like, you don't think that I can get called, that? It's called Jesus. I mean, sorry, but you don't think that I can get somebody to help me? You don't mm. think a man is going to love it's me? It's called Jesus. Huh? Jesus. So basically, you telling me to call on Jesus. Therapist. And a thing. You, I thought you was, well, can me and you be together then? Sure. After you call on Jesus and the therapist. Rate yourself one to ten. To me, I'm my type, so I'ma say a ten. I'ma say I'm an eight. I think I say like a seven and a half, eight around there. I will rate myself an eight. Here's the truth. None of you ladies are a ten or an eight or anything close to that. The reality is a five. <laughs> <laughs> A five is average. You're not an eight or a ten. A five is average. Below five is you're not looking too good. A six is a good looking person. A seven is you're more than good looking. A eight is you're great. Nine is okay, you're America's next top model. You should be on a billboard somewhere. A ten is one of these basketball players gonna have you. You have a high sense of <laughs> esteem, a high sense of ego about yourselves, because all you ladies are single. There's niggas in your deals right now that'll treat you well, that'll give you a good lifestyle, take care of you. That I love your kids, but you choose not to reply to these guys based off how you think about yourself. If you wanted to see a different result, be more realistic.